It's not just good, it's real good. We've been here just kicking these lessons. Freestyle, you know what we mean. It's don't charge. We do this, so we acting extra large, acting brand new at the Waldorf Astoria. Hmm. We got our own money. <laughs> Today in Face Oven, we'll be making chocolate chip banana bread. Some will have one and said you see, and some are just chocolate chips. They're, they're going to be delicious. When making banana bread, this is what you want your bananas to look like. When they have brown spots on them, that means they're gonna be real sweet. So you should you should try and have them like this. I break the bananas into pieces, and then we're gonna smash them with a fork. Okay. We're gonna set our oven to 350, and then you should always set your oven before you start, so it so it'll be ready. If you, yeah, so just do it before you start so it'll be ready. These are our bananas. Okay. Perfect. I know some of you guys are Superman, so it's gonna be pretty easy for you. But I just got back from school, so yeah. This is what your bananas look like when you're done smashing it. Smashing them so when so you'll know when you're done if they look like this. As far as wet ingredients, we are gonna have one one cup of sugar, one egg, and one stick of butter, including the banana. Your butter has to be room temperature. And I took it out this morning before I left the school, but now I'm back and it's perfect, perfectly soft. I'm gonna add my butter now. We gotta try and get every last piece of butter off. I'm going to add the egg into the bananas and butter. I got my one ingredients mixed, so now I'm gonna add my dry ingredients. So this right here is one and a half cups of flour. I'm gonna put this in the bowl. And then one cup of sugar. And I have one teaspoon of baking soda and a half teaspoon of salt in here. I'm gonna add that. We're going to add our dry ingredients to our wet ingredients a little bit at a time. Now I'm going to add the chocolate chips. I have three fourths of chocolate chocolate chips, and I'm going to put it in. My mom, my dad, and my grandma like to have roasted walnuts, and there and there. So I'm going to, we're going to do a couple like this. They are good too. You eat these by yourself. That ain't that good. I like to taste. We usually have cupcake holders, but we don't today, so I'm going to use all vegetable grease dough for, to grease the pan. Crisco, baby. Crisco. Are you
it's clear would you ask me to come out i'd say hey girl come on right around so she knocked at the door i was standing with the keys in my hand to the four by four jumped in my ride jumped in my body so we got the hop out back to the bed so it was early morning thought we better be leaving so i gave you my jacket for you to hold told you to wear it cause you felt cold i mean me and i didn't mean to cut the rules i wanna try to play them all right i'm using an air Depending on your oven. Yeah, depending on your oven. If you know your oven good, do it. These are our banana breads. Now that they're finished, they they have cooled down and they look very good. Can't wait to eat them. Look. I'm not gonna eat this one. I'm gonna save these for my parents and grandma. Nah, this one is mine. Mm -hmm. Oh, bless you. Bless you. Girls, please no. don't. Perfect. Perfect. Got really sticking. Yeah.